Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the 3D Connection Space Navigator 3D Mouse. The purpose of this mouse is to navigate in 3D applications and that will save time and increase comfort in editing. When I took it out of the box I felt that it's extremely well built. The base is very heavy and it's made out of stainless steel and the bottom has a very effective rubber circle which the unit sits on. On each of the sides are buttons that feel very comfortable and they align with your fingers perfectly. And pushing them is amazing because you kind of have to click them sideways which feels very natural. You can program these buttons to do anything you like within the software application that came included in the box which by the way works for PCs and Macs. To be completely honest this is one of the coolest gadgets that I've ever tested. When I got it I installed the software on my computer and I tested it out in Google Earth. And I've got to tell you this is so sensitive and so accurate that you can't explain it. The knob on the unit which is the main thing has a matte rubbery finish around it and a glossy finish on the top. Also note the little edges on the sides that will align with your thumb whether you're left handed or right handed and that way you know which direction the unit is facing. The sensitivity can be adjusted within the control panel that's in the software that came with it so you can make the unit fit your needs. You can also disable the blue light that glows around it. The knob moves in all directions. It tilts in all directions. It goes straight forward, backward and sides, up and down and it can be rotated as well. Like I mentioned earlier, the accuracy is so amazing that you won't believe it. When it's plugged in it feels a little cheap because the knob feels a little loose. But that's what is amazing about it. It is perfectly adjusted. Not too loose and not too stiff. It can sit on your table without moving around and it's really fun playing with it. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. Now I'm at the computer about to test the Space Navigator. I'm gonna start with Google Earth and then I'm gonna move over to SketchUp. But before I do anything, I'm gonna go to System Preferences and select 3D Connection. And there I can show you all the settings. So right now I have it configure Google SketchUp. You can also just make it configure any applications. So it's all gonna work the same. Uh, you can choose what every single move on it does, all the axes. You can choose the buttons on the sides, what they do. Macros, I'm not sure what that is yet. I haven't really figured that out. And in tools, you can calibrate, install plugins, update wizard, demos. You can enable or disable the LEDs that are around it. That's pretty cool because sometimes people don't want the blue LEDs. It's like it disturbs them or something. So you can turn those off. So let's open up Google Earth. And I'm not going to do anything with my mouse. I'm just going to put the cursor right over here. And I'm just going to start by navigating. And again, this thing is really heavy. So it's not going to go anywhere. Let's go to Iceland. That's where I come from. To the capital. So here we have all the houses, maybe we have some 3D buildings. So I can like navigate easily around these things. You know, without without it like crashing or something. Very easily. I can move over to this building. And again, like I showed you in the settings, you can adjust the sensitivity. And that is just the speed, so you just barely touch it and it makes the movement. But I don't like having it too fast. Okay, now a challenge. I'm going to go inside this uh, this uh, roof thing over there. So I'm just going to slowly move forward. And that's that. Now I'm inside the house. Let's go back out. As you can see, it is extremely sensitive. Let's go between these bars. Okay, let's go to some other place. Got a little planet here. And I'm going to go over here. I think this is Florida, I'm not sure. And here we have a city. I 
really cool. You can just mess around with this all day, really. You can just, you can check out all these places in the world and you can, like, pretend that you're flying around instead of using the mouse to do everything. That's really frustrating. And using these controls to, like, adjust your position. But this navigator was not designed for Google Earth. It's mainly designed for those who make 3D models, etc. So I'm gonna move over to Google SketchUp. That's a free application, by the way. I'll leave you a link to it in the video description. So you can download it yourself to test it out. So I'm just gonna make a, a kind of a box or a house, it's a house with a door. and one circular window. Okay, so instead of using the tool here, like moving around like that, oops, you can use the space navigator to easily navigate around your model and you can just get really detailed with it, you can get really close up instead of having to use these different tools. You just use your Space Navigator or any of the other models that 3D Connection makes and just navigate around those things, you know. That's what's so cool about it. You don't have to keep using your mouse. So let's make a... I don't even know what that is. So let's check it out from the top view. I can circle around it. There's our little person in there. So this is ideal for 3D editors or those who make 3D models. 3D Connection did a really fantastic job of designing this 3D mouse. And funny thing is that this is one of the cheapest ones that they make. I definitely recommend this to you all, whether you work in 3D applications or you just happen to like flying around on the globe and Google Earth. The only downside that I got is that it's not directly compatible with the 3D application blender and it cannot be used as a regular mouse, but otherwise this is an awesome product. If you'd like to check it out, then check out the links in the video description box where you can find links to further technical specifications and where to buy it. This was my review of the 3D Connection Space Navigator 3D Mouse. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video review.